Now, let's take a look at these patch notes, chat. Let's see if there's anything here that I do not already know. So game update notes for November 9th, 2021. World Polish. Events during the Dragonstorm have been updated to not award participation to inactive players. Oh, snap! Get out of here, AFK bots. Get out of here. Increased the minimum participation required to receive the end rewards from Dragonstorm. Yes. All right. I, I admit I have not done Dragonstorm in a while. Uh, been It's been a couple weeks at least. I, I finished the, the thing to get the free eye infusion, and then I re haven't really gone back since then. So, But I am seeing a lot of people cheering in my chat, so I'm guessing this has been a problem. Uh, reducing the health scaling of non-champion enemies per player above one in Dragon Response missions. In Forging Steel, throwing metal scraps to the tank when it is near full health will now give it a temporary speed boost. Oh, that's neat. I don't, I mean, I assume that the person inside is just getting scared because you're hurling metal at her and she's like pressing down on the accelerator. Like, oh my god, you know, you're just like hurling chunks of steel at her. Uh, but yeah, that's cool. You can make the, the whole strike take a little bit less time. Uh, in Forging Steel, the Defiance Bar Strength per player of the Ancient Forgeman has been slightly reduced. Uh, General, when equipped, the visual effects of the legendary trinkets transcend its vision and aurora can now be toggled via a checkbox in the Equipment tab of the Hero panel. Uh, I can't see it in-game yet. I'm guessing I would need to relog for it, but very excited. Items. Fixed an issue with the physics and the lighting on the crossing staff. Uh, the crossing staff, I actually have that one. Uh, I'm on my engineer who can't use staff, so I'll have to use the wardrobe to show this. Just a moment. So we're going to do two hand across the staff. It is this one. Uh, this is what it looks like. It is like uh, holding a chain with a lantern on the top. And as you see, it's it's a bit ex it's got excessive wobbles. Uh, the, the dangly bit is a bit excessive right now, so I'm guessing they're doing something here. But I, I'm currently pre-patch, I haven't closed my game yet, so this is pre-nerf crossing dingle dangle. Alright. Uh, world versus World. Addressed an exploit that allows siege weapons to be placed within the red team spawn location in Eternal Battlegrounds. Uh, addressed an exploit that allows siege weapons to be placed within the home world spawn in the Alpine Borderlands. Increase the number of pips earned for match placement from 345 to 456. So, right there, everyone's getting minimum one more pip. Added a new pip bonus for new players of World v. World rank 1 through 149. So, if we go to World v. World real quick, just to explain this, if we go to um how you get the rewards you see like you get an extra pip if you are above rank 150 you get an extra pip if you are above 620 an extra if you're above 1395 there's now an extra one for being level one which means as long as you're at least level one there's another extra pip so we're now up to two extra pips all the time after you've played for at least like half an hour in world v world in your life um the next thing is increase the number of pips given per world v world rank by one. So, so the, there's a thing here that'll be one. This is moving from one to two. This is moving from two to three. This is moving from three to four. It's just one across the board, I guess. Outnumber being removed and removed world v world participation grace time granted from repairing. Specifically, you know, it's repairing walls. Um... But yeah, so the important thing there is outnumbered is removed, and everyone, you know, ev everyone basically is getting two more pips all the time, which, unless you were really, really hunting down the outnumbered buff all the time, this is just going to be a buff to income. It's just going to be a buff. Then you can't repair. Let's see, Black Lion, Trading Company, Gem Store. Check out GuildWars2.com every week for the most up-to-date information on the Black Lion, Trading Company, Gem Store releases. Uh, okay, so I just logged out and back in. What's a, what's in the statue thing now? Arcane Battle Staff. Does it have trail? It does. Alright, this would probably be really cool on a daredevil flipping all over the place. So that's Arcane Battle Staff. Uh, Mini Cozy Winner's Day Mount. Uh, not my thing. Thunder Horse Staff Skin. Uh, I think the important question here is, what's a horse? Also, I appear to be holding it sideways. It looks like it, th this is the front of the weapon right here that we're facing. 
Watch Work Wings Package. Yeah, makes me think of, um... What's his name from League of Legends? Galio? Jackal Pup Backpack. Mini Spooky Mounts Pack. Alright. Pyre Circle at Helm. Oh my god! That is really intense! How do we make it so this thing covers any possible hairstyle? What if we add a disgusting amount of fire particles? I like it. Look at this. I My non-existent hair is pulled up into the fire. That's wild. Synergetics hover bike skimmers. <gasps> oh, that is neat. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. That looks really cool. That does not look Guild Wars 2-Z, but it looks really cool. <laughs> Swipe! <laughs> oh! Uh, might, might have to use some, uh, might have to use some gem codes. Uh, Shadebound Scepter Skin. Okay, alright. Mm -mm -mm. Yo, that bike, though. <laughs> That looks cool. That looks cool. I don't know, that might that might replace my Lithosol mount for favorite skimmer skin. The uh where is it? Th this has been my favorite one for a long time. Mux in love. Ah, I am an engineer. I can appreciate a nice flying motorcycle from time to time. Look at the black lion chest. Okay. Alright, what do we got? Uh, ba 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 ba. ba. All right, so Mad Realm stuff, vintage Black Lion box, gargoyle skins, Bloodstone. Oh my God, there's a lot of sets in here. I'm not reading all those. Uh, okay. So basically anything. Uh, Seven Reapers Helm. Oh, the bike's in here. The hover bike's in here. Ebon Hawk Crossbow Pistol. Oh, you could be a demon hunter. Oh, that is sleek. That is sleek. I wonder, I hope it has its own sound too. I don't know if it does. I gotta get my keys! Ah! <laughs> it's, it's, it's this is what I've been waiting for that looks good. Ah! Oh man! <laughs> I've been pe people some like what sometimes I get them from RNG and sometimes people like give me keys and I'm like, all right, can I save these until I want something? I want something. All right, Guild MM Luck, come to me. First key motorcycle. Let's go. Guild MM, why? <laughs> I say you bathwater. Why didn't? Oh, come on. Uh, yes. Woo! No swipe needed. Hold up, we gotta go to Lion's Arch or something. Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! Barrel roll! Oh, it does barrel rolls! That is sick. Hold on a second. Hold on. Makes transformer noises. Oh! <laughs> That's so cool. Does it have idle animations? I don't know. Do skimmers normally? Spins around. The skin is sick. The dyes are a crime. <laughs> Hang on.
Oh, this is rad. My my wind sock hat. Ah, oh, that's neat. The sounds, the noises. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Ah, it's worth every penny I did not spend. All right. Let's check let's check the others. Let's check the others. I hate this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't even want this. <laughs> this thing is so I'm just, look to the artists who made it. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to be nice to an artist I don't even know, but god. Uh, from now on my character sleeps right next to the bike and it's just idling just for ASMR noises, Chad. This is my white noise machine at night now. Oh my god. 